All right, man, let's talk about Jerron Boots Ennis. Um, he opens up about his defense. He say, y'all hating on my defense. I'm on my defense. All right. Um, so he claps back on the criticism of his lack of defense. Let's talk about it real quick. Check out the Box News playlist, well to wait. Boston Talk playlist, um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out my new channel right here on YouTube, Free Game 89. Links in the description, links in the comment section, uh, and the link tree, excuse me, in uh, FR33 Game 89, two threes instead of two E's. And it's his back at his critics on his defense. I get hit a lot less than your favorite fighter. But then again, too, you fighting a lot less competition. So, of course, that's going to be the case. He says it just takes two seconds for even the most casual boxing fan to realize how special Jerron Ennis is. We already know that. Who wrote this? Han. He said, I don't know what y'all be watching, but I get hit uh, less than y'all favorite fighters in, in the set on social media. He said, I come out every fight looking the same way. I did going in. No cuts, no bruise, no knots, no bloody nose. Neither I should. None of that. Defense is always nice and sharp. Well, I say this. All right, I'll, I'll give my comment about this. When he get hit, he don't he don't have a poker face. So when Jerron Ennis get hit, you can see it. You get you get y'all catch my drift. When he get hit, you really can see it. Like, and I don't know if that's because he getting because he he he's so offensive. And I think that will be because he is very offensive fighter, and they punch in with him, and he get caught. And you see it. It ain't like he take the punch and keep keep chucking. Like when he get touched up, you know what I'm saying? He get touched up. I mean, he, he not not he get touched up, touched up, not like that. But like you really like you really see it. It's like a real reaction when he get hit. I think that's what it is. Like how he get hit and when he get hit, it's a, it's an actual reaction. Like he's like, oh, you can really you can really see it. Like when Danny get take a good shot, Danny got a nice po well, Danny Garcia got a really good poker face. When Earl take a nice shot, other than the, the, the Ugas fight, he got a really good poker face. When Bug get hit, you kind of can see it. You're like, oh, he got hit with a good shot. Oh, oh, he didn't take it well. It ain't like you don't take the punch well. You just don't react to it well. And when Jerron Ennis kind of get touched, you know, like he kind of flare back a little bit. And I think that's more not because of an indictment on his chin. I think it's more of an indictment on uh I think it's more of an indictment on his uh on his style. That's what I think it is. I think it's more of an indictment on his style. That's my honest opinion. I think it's more of an indictment on his style. Like he just punching and then he get touched. And then everybody can see it. Like, just his reaction to it. So, you know, anytime you throw punches in bunches, you're going to open yourself up to get to get touched. That's just what it is. You know? That's just what it is. You know, you know, that's just what it is. You're just going to get touched. So when you throw multiple punches and you offensive, you open up, you open yourself up to get punched. And that's why a lot of these dudes don't like throwing combination punches in this little lost art because you got to know how to evade and still get punches. You got to be willing to never take a punch. You know, you know, it must be the male lady. You know, but uh, you know, so uh, but yeah, like yeah, I said before, anytime you take chances, you take chances. But now he say, well, you know, I get hit less than your favorite fighter, but you fighting a lot less opposition, and that's that's what they gonna uh, and that's what they gonna say. But it's cool. I don't mean I know somebody you know that pointed out. Well, I mean he got hit too much in that fight and. I mean, it's a fight. He fighting a guy that's looking for one shot, who 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 was counter punching pretty good on uh, that night. So I don't I don't really think his defense is a problem. 
you know, some people are saying, oh, he was too, he got, he got pressed on the ropes too much and, and this, that, and the third. Like I said, I didn't really, man, I figured, I figured, I figured that he just wanted to be there and take a breather. And then I liked the way he fought on the inside. Um, I liked a lot of things that he did on Saturday. I liked a lot of things that he, I liked a lot of things that he did. You know, like a lot of things that he did last Saturday, dude. So I don't really think the defense is a problem. Um, he got hit. He got he fought a puncher and took it. He got hit here and there. It wasn't like he got consistently, you know, plastered throughout the ring. You know, I I didn't really when I watched when I watched the fight, I didn't really see that being a problem. But anytime you open up and you throw punches, you work up and down, and you do the things that he do, you gonna you know. It's a it's a gift and it's it's always a yin and a yang. It's always a good and a bad. It's always a positive and a negative. It's always a good and a bad. It's always gonna be some good. Every decision is it's you know a lot of us we get we go through a bad situation, and we just look at the negative. We just look at the negative part about it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, and never try to look at the glass half empty. And that's what I'm trying to work on. So we gotta look. We gotta look at all aspects of this sh- of, of 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 a lot of this shit that's going on. But the positive is, you know, Terrence Crawford. A lot of his knockouts come because he follow up. Jerron Ennis, you know, a lot of his knockouts come even if the ref is stepping in there. Some of their knockouts, a lot of their knockouts come why? Because you know it's about to get ugly. Because they know they know the finishing move is coming. They know the finish and move. So that's a good thing. I mean, I'd rather be a combination puncher than a one-two puncher. You know? All day. All day. So, um, but, um, but, like I, like I continue to say, man, they gonna they gonna continue to nitpick this kid. They gonna continue to nitpick this kid, you know, because he that good. Cause he that good. Cause he that good. That's just what it is. So, um, but I don't really see no, uh, I don't really see no, uh, I don't really see no, uh, no, no big hole in this defense. It's more holes in Virgil Ortiz defense, if anything. Let's keep it real. You know, people, you know, people, people just made up in their mind. Like for one, a lot of people don't like the Ennis hype. And that all come with that, that come with damn near every fighter that got the hype of Ennis. Um, a lot of them don't like him because of the threat of Virgil Ortiz. And we'll see if that go away because it ain't no it probably ain't gonna be no more Virgil Ortiz at well to wait. Man, from what I heard, it may not be no more Virgil Ortiz in boxing. So, I mean, shit, you just never know. Hopefully get healthy, able to contribute and make money for his family. So, um, but, uh, but moving forward, you know, he just, he just, you know, people just won't want to see him lose because how good he is. LeBron James effect, the 2000 Lakers effect. I mean, that's just, you know, just how it go. It's just how it go. So it really ain't no, uh, you know, it's just something that he going to have to live with. And, you know, people, every time Floyd stepped out there, they wanted to see Floyd lose. A lot of people wanted to see Muhammad lose, despite being, you know, beloved. A lot of people didn't like Muhammad when before he started shaking. 
you know, especially people that end up celebrating him down the line of what he stood for. Don't believe that bullshit. You know, the brothers loved him. The sisters loved him. You know? But a lot of people that didn't like him. You know, not just because he was black. Um, you know, the whole thing with the war. Um, and, uh, yeah, the whole thing with the war. And then also, you know, nobody likes somebody, especially a black person that run their mouth. So anybody that run their mouth for the most part, shit, especially back then, you need to humble yourself. But, um. I don't see this being a big problem, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Uh, you know, check out my new channel, um, free game 89 fr 33 game 89. Links in the description and in the link tree, it'll be easier just going through there so you can find it through the algorithm. Um, and check out my Detroit Center uh, channel, Mercy Sports Talk. I appreciate that. So, that's great ways to donate and help me keep pushing. Peace.